Right. In the last session, we have discussed about uh, how to create uh, tasks I have shown you. So apart from the dashboards creation, we have discussed even about how do we require to create uh, tasks for different, different activities, what is that we are going to perform. At the same time, we have discussed even uh, about uh, the kind of leads, what are the different, different leads we have, like uh, in reference to the sales related stuff, right? Whatever the leads and all that, but at the same time, uh, uh, how to create uh, new leads or something of that sort, right? We need to create a quick leads, right? So this part we have discussed even. No, the same I part. think we have, sorry, we, we have not discussed leads. How to create leads. Uh, are, are, you, are you very sure? Yeah. So we, the plan today is to start from leads, basically. I think we have discussed about the tasks, am I right? Yeah. After that, we have discussed about uh, the leads we need to discuss. Huh? Uh -huh. Right. So, uh, right. So, these are the leads in reference to the sales force. Of course, it was there. Wherein creation of leads is what we have to work on. So, wherein this sorting of leads can be done, wherein we have the focus where we have an option to create because if you want to create any kind of new leads for the existing project so there is an option called new you can see over here right so new new is an option which will be shown us to create uh, different different leads in real environment on context to that you click on click new so here excuse me so here, what is that we need to do? The details has to be mentioned here. Means, for example, whatever the leads are we going to create? So if there is any kind of uh, business card, which is something relating to them and all everything, that business scanning of the business card can be done, which is optional, right? So because scanning of business card, for example, this was the business card, right? Let's say, let us put an example, right? So this is business card if you want to access, you can access the business card here. That is one thing we have to do first. Next year, when we talk about the lead and all, we need to mention about the topic, right? So which, uh, which topic are we discussing in reference to our CRM application, I can say, for example, like, like for example, topic relating to integration, right? For example, right? So topic relating to integration is what we have taken. And we need to mention about uh, the budgeted amount, right? So budgeted of amount, right? What will be the budgeted amount we have uh, given? Wherein that budget we have to mention here, right? So that is what generally we need to mention about the budget amount. At the same time, even for purchasing means if you want to purchase anything and all everything. So we need to identify the time frame. Time frame, nothing but the kind of deadline. What is that we have to purchase something? Because as, as in when, whenever we are creating multiple leads in regular uh, uh, projects, right? So you can see different, different uh, projects and all. Of course, ours is uh, CRM implementation. In context to CRM implementation, I have taken a topic of integration. Because CRM can be integrating with any other applications, if so, if so. Right? So that is what generally the integration which I have taken. For example, there is an amount of budget which will be uh, which will be mentioned here. Of course, this is depends on from where we have taken because as I'm as I'm connecting from India, whenever I'm registering myself for Dynamics 365, it will automatically collect from where we have registered based on that which currency is applicable. That currency will be applied here. If you are connecting from UK, that will be converted in pounds. Or else if it is from US and all everything, that will be considered as dollars and so on. That's how generally this uh, budget amount and all everything will be mentioned here. At the same time, we have to mention the time frame for a purchase time frame and all. Let's say that we are having a purchase time frame where we want to do this in the next, in this coming quarter, right? So this is what generally 
the time frame we have in context to the integration of the application like crm integration we want to make with other applications if that was the lead i'm talking about right it was that that was the lead so we need to mention about this uh, this lead has to be created and it has to be maintained within this quarter quarter means in three months of time that's what generally we have decided at the same time we need to mention about the lead source from where this lead source are we uh, extracting or the lead source we are getting off right so that is what generally we so which I am saying is it is partner, right? So this is what I am selecting because lead source can be from anywhere. Either this is through advertisements or this is through employee reference or external reference, all that. But I am selecting the lead source, which is called partner here. Now here you need to mention about the dates, right? So names of it, right? So we have to mention different, different names of the personal information over here. For example, I have mentioned it as... Uh, Okay. For example, right. So Raj is the last name. Let's say, for example, right. So job title has to be mentioned here. Let's say um, the title has business analyst. Let me say, right. Let me example. Right? I'm just taking a, a company called XYZ over here, right. So if there is any kind of mail ID or contact details, which will be mentioned followed by this if there is any kind of description as such which can be created over here so after that we need to click on save and close so automatically Right. So this is the lead which was created already, right? So the topic was created, new uh, status was created here. At the same time, when we have created that information can also be seen over here. Right. So whenever we want to sort out uh, these leads, whatever we have created, that can be sorted out. That is one thing. At the same time, this can be filtered depends on the kind of topic it was created so far. At the same time, we need to mention the status reason also, right? So what are the status reasons and all everything we need to set, select. At the same time, I'm selecting this and I'm aligning this from sorting from old to new, right? So that's what generally I have taken the selection process over here. Now, this is where generally this open leads come into picture. Whenever there is an open lead we have created, for example, if you want to do any kind of edit, edit filters, right? So, for example, why this filtering process we use? Because filtering processes are used to uh, extract the information as simple as we can. Are you following Kingsley? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, filters are the one which majorly useful for us to extract the information from the sources. Because there will be a lot of information in reference to the sales or maybe of other any other data which is available online. But it is no, may not be possible for us to extract all the information from different, different sources, which may not be possible. So if you want to make it more possible and uh, more, more possible and all that, so creation of filters or existing the existing and as well as editing the existing filters will also make the work more simpler because there will be a lot of data because whatever the data we see is very simple. But in real environment, whenever we are working on this uh, application, like CRM applications and all, there will be the data which will be of so high, right? So the data will be so heavy. So whenever we have in heavy data, because uh, in terms of quantity I'm talking about, data will be very heavy. So wherein what we can do is that either this can be applied, it depends on the kind of filters, what we are created, all that stuff that will get it done. Or else we can create based upon the edit filters, right? So this is what generally we can do. Means editing of filters to make our work more convenient, right? So that's what generally we can do it. So for example, here is where generally we need to understand. For example, if you want to show a live data, Right, that is what, for example, this was the 
live data it's which is uh, which is already there in reference to the editing filters of leads all that stuff now here i am selecting uh i am selecting the budget here right so budget which is equals to uh no committed budget we need to mention about the status not only of budget uh, annual revenue which is equals to the value it means if you want to provide any kind of value of that sort that value can be updated over here right so this is one thing so if you want you can add something out of it otherwise we can click on apply so that editing for filters and all everything will also be possible right so because editing of filters is something essentially required wherein we can see all the available data whichever is there right whatever the data which is relating to that particular filter i am talking about because we have created a filter per budget right so budget and as well as annual related stuff generally we have taken so like this multiple multiple budgets we can prepare right so because in reference to the budget if there is any kind of leads or something of that sort generally that we can see at the same time these filters can be updated it depends on the kind of annual revenue as well as the kind of uh, uh, contact like company name or something like right so even uh, yeah right so for example right so let let us let us let me put you this way right so from the company which is equal to xyz and all you can see here right so filters i have created why because if you remember when i have created this lead if you remember i have given a company called xyz isn't it clear kingsland following yeah right i have given in a company called xyz that's the reason why whenever i have created a filter for xyz automatically that xyz company details were updated now i am going to create one more lead so that i will be showing you better okay for example topic which topic you want me to take here to create a lead let's create three to four leads because not one because let's create three to four multiple tell us the topic yeah, what do you mean topic Topic means yeah, dynamics, lead. anything. Yeah. Lead, lead, yeah. reference to the lead in reference to the project. Tell me any topic. I have taken integration earlier. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Any Anything. anything you can say. Yeah, data. Not so data. Anything. See, this is all for you to understand, right? So this is all data we have creating, not required so accurate. You can tell me something, whichever you like. Yeah, put data. Sorry? Data. Put data, na? Yeah, no, I mean data. Just data. data. Only data, na? Mm. Okay, right, budget amount. Mm. It will be converted into rupees. Okay. For example, uh, that, that budget amount anyway I have given. Yeah. Purchase time frame, you tell me. Quarter. This quarter? Yeah. Okay. Lead source. From where this lead source is? Web. Page show. Okay. You can put employee referral. Employee reference, okay. Mm -hmm. Personal uh, first name. Tell something. John. John. Mm. Last John Matt. Huh? John Matt. 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 Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> Okay, job title. Sorry? Job title, job title. Analyst. Job um, title. Yeah, engineer. Huh? Engineer. Engineer, okay. You tell me the company name. I'll show you how this filters works. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, I've, I've seen it like that. Um, 
company name can be yeah yeah we any <laughs> struggle to put um payad or uh, yeah payad sorry F put fad f e y a d payad yes sir F E Y A D, the yard. Yes, you? Yeah, Y A D, the yard. P and eh? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay, it's okay, right? P and right. So, for example, I, I'm not writing all these email IDs on that and just close, close it, okay? Right, job math I have taken, right? So which company your name you have taken? Uh, beyond, right? Beyond. For example, edit filters. Status. Right, so company name. Company name equals to F U Y is that something? F U Y kind of right? F U, what was that? Uh I remember I just use F U. F U D or something. F U something. One minute. Let me see that. Uh -huh. Check. F U F U Y A F U Y N T. Okay. Hmm. F U Y N T. Right, if you are empty, no? right? So you can see here, right? So this is how generally the editing our filters and all everything we can do. Understood? Clear? Can you go back to that filter, please? Can you go back to the edit filter? Please? Where do you want me to go back? Leads? Edit filter. Okay. Hmm, tell me. Yeah, if you try to add, I want to see. If you click on the add book. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, I'm trying to see, you know, when you're trying to add those feet at the other time, that's where I'm going. So. I'm not, get, I'm not getting your question. Can you come again? But, yeah, what I'm saying is, I want you to show it as if you want to add filter again. So that is what I'm saying. Like, I want to see that drop down where you're trying to add filter company and all that. You, you want me to add these groups and rows? No, 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 no. I just, it's like, I want you to repeat the process that you did again. So oh, okay, okay. I'll repeat, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. For example, here you can see there is an option called new. Okay, new. Kingston. Yeah, I, I, get, I get that. So, I understand what you did. Okay. I just, yeah, don't worry. Go on. Go on. Go on. So, filters create leads I have created. As the leads were multiple, if you want to filter the data, you need to click on edit filters and you have to do the necessary changes. That is what I have shown you. Yeah. So, during the process of um editing that filter you know you were you are one of the drop down is showing status equals 
and things like that. So that is where I'm... I'll make you as presenter. Can you share your screen and tell me what is your problem? Uh, what is your question? So that I can understand. Kingsley. Are you... Yeah, I'm waiting for you to make me present. Have you made me a presenter now? Can I make you as presenter? Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah, I did. Tell me. Oh. Uh, but I need to assess your screen, isn't it? <laughs> so there's no way I can ask questions if I can't ask. Sorry. Okay. 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 Don't worry. Let me let me try and open my hmm. my dynamics. Uh. Um. What is all this stuff? Uh... Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Okay, one second. Why is it so slow? Uh, not really a big deal. It's, it's not. It's just something minor. Maybe I should have let you continue, but it's all right. We can. So I'm expecting it to show the records. Oh, why is it not showing? All leads, records? all leads, all leads. Select my open leads, all leads. No, 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 all leads. Okay. Refresh, so, refresh, refreshments, refresh better. You can refresh it and see. Have you created anything new earlier? No. I just show my name. New, new, new. What's all this? I create, what I did was to create a new dashboard. So not, I create a new dashboard, but not on this project anyway. So it was a different project. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You know what, right, just um, continue. It's just a minor thing now. I will bring it up later. So don't, that should, we should not allow that to disturb. Yeah, you, you tell me your uh, question, no problem. I can understand. Go ahead. Yeah, I will tell you. Yeah, no, 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 you don't. It's like you don't you're not understanding me. If I need to get to leads to ask you my question, right? Mm. But it's not opening up. Yeah. So continue your lecture. We can talk about the question some other time. It's just something minor. Okay. So we can talk about it later. That's Should what I continue? Saying. Yeah, continue. Okay. If you have any question, you can ask. Okay. Yeah, sure. You can see it, right? Yeah. So whatever we have explained about edit filters, right? That's what we have explained. Uh -huh. Now, after that, for example, if you want to add any kind of rows 
or if you are not create any kind of groups or something like for example you are not sure can, can you see your can you see my screen no not yet just a minute yeah can you see now yep right so what we have discussed is we have discussed about leads here at the same time editing filters how to edit filters depends on the data what we have taken and all that was explained already uh -huh. Now, again, in leads, for example, if you want to edit filters and you want to add something, for example, if you want to add any new rows or if you want to add any kind of groups to the existing leads, we can do that. For example, if you want to add some group, for example, right, some group you want to add to the existing leads, because whatever do remember whatever I have explained about earlier was edit leads. Why edit leads? Because you want to extract some data from which is already existed. If you want to filter the data to have a better output, that's what I have shown. Yeah. So what I am showing you here now is editing filters, where if you want to add any kind of rows or uh, these things and all that, right? So this is where generally we have to go for edit filters. Again, I'm showing you have to go to all leads. Whenever mm -hmm. you're going to go for all leads, here you have an option called edit filters. Click mm -hmm. on that. Here you can see you can add, add group, okay? Now, if you want to select any groups here, for example, what are all the groups where you have name, topic, corner, status, created, right? So different, different things were there. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, we have list of people. So add group, select field. Uh, for example, country and region I have taken, right? So country region contains, for example, right? Contains C, right? For example, right? Contains C. So if there is any country, for example, whenever we have created any leads, if there is any country which was created on C, generally that data you can see over here. Understood, clear, Kingsley. Mm -hmm. yep. So here like this, whatever the groups, if you want to create, and if you want to add any kind of groups or something like, you can create it. Now, let me show you one thing. Mm. Something I'm taking. Mm, immediate. Okay. Lead source advertisement. Something. Something. Mm. I just because to have. Uh, something I just taken. I'll just add it now. What, yeah, this is what I was created. Forget about it. So, what I did is let like if you want to add any kind of additional groups and all, right? So, this add filters where you can add any, any kind of additional groups and all, everything you can add it. That is one thing you can do. You can see add here, add group, add group in context to the country, which is starts from, from C, is what I have taken. Now, if you want to add any kind of rows and all everything, we can add it. Now, I am taking a I am um, taking name equals to Yeah, this is an okay. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, go on. I've, the question I want to ask, I'm, not, I'm just asking why are you using equals to there? What does that say? So is this saying? Equals, equals means, to... for example, you are okay. using equal to automatically whatever is related information will come. For example, okay. ends with, right? I'm using, for example, ends with, right? Ends with is what generally I have used, which is called Raj, for example. Yeah, as, as a filter. Yeah. Right? Okay. Ends with. So that also can be added. Right? That also mm -hmm. can be added. Or else, for example, if you want to use, because it depends on the kind of option we yeah. have here. 
right? Yeah. So it is not need not be equal all the time, right? For example, yeah. equals to means for example, equals to Raj, whatever is relating to Raj, you will be appear. If not equals to what you can say, you can select even does not equal to also, right? Yeah. Or else if you want to use contains, contains means that name that name will be included somewhere. For example, yeah. Raj is a name I have used that contains in different different uh, names. For example, that same yeah. name is containing in different, different data. You can see that. That is what we call it as contains. Understood? For example, yeah, begins with. Begins with what, what exactly begins with? For example, begins with John, right? So this is what I have taken. For example, that right? begins with John, we have taken. Let us assume that. Now, status, again. Mm. City. Uh... Contains. Mm. If anything or if they if they anything is there of that sort, I am saying, right? If there is any, because make sure that data is available here. That is required. Okay, that is needed. I have taken, for example, annual revenue, which is less than or equal to. Right. So this is what I have taken, for example, right? So wherein we can apply. So if there is any data which is relating to that lead, we can. See you over there. Understood? Clear? Oh. Understood or not? Right? So, yeah, different yeah, yeah. filters can be created. Understand? Clear? Yeah. Right? So, this is where generally these filters and all everything we can create. Means if you want to add any kind of filters or if you want to add any kind of rows and groups, all these things can be added to the existing ones. That's what and how Usually we do all these things. At the same time, for example, if you want to add any kind of related entity, right? So related entity, uh, choose related entity. Uh, for example, choose related entity in reference to the contacts, right? So for example, right? So choose related entity, contacts, based on the address one, for example, right? And with Mejibo, for example, right? We can click on, right? So that's how generally these filters can be added. Understood? Clear? Yeah. Right? So these filters, why are we creating filters and why are we editing filters because of the reason is that as the, the data will be, sometimes it will be in thousand and lakhs <laughs> because this is a customer data, right? So the customer data is not something confined to hundreds or something, right? So thousands and lakhs of data available on different, different names, on different, different contact details, designations, address, communication details, all that will be mentioned over there. So, but now if you want to extract that information to the existing database, if you want to make it more selective, all this, what we have to do now, first of all, we have to edit the filters and we have to create the filters first. If you have not created filters, extracting the information from the existing database will become much difficult. Understood? Clear? Oh, uh -huh. Are you clear? Yes, Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you want to edit columns, for example, if you want to edit columns, right? So edit because different, different columns we have taken. Name, topic, status, created and all that. Now, for example, if you want to add any kind of column, right? Add column. Mm. Annual revenue. This budgeted amount budgeted amount right assignment value result add new revenue next whatever the once you want to select something relating for example currency right we have selected right so if you want to edit any kind of columns and all everything 
so that columns can be created. If you want to edit columns and all, we can create columns. And it depends on the kind of columns what we have created. If you want to add any information to the existing ones, that can be added equally. Understand? Clear? Understood or not? Yeah. Understood? Clear? Right? So this is how generally we need to select whatever that we have, right? So all these things and all everything is what we have to select. Means usually the, the columns, whatever we are selecting, it is completely depends on the kind of data we are working on. For example, if this is a data which is something relating to the sales and all, customer details itself is sufficient. But whereas when you are working on some data which is something relating to uh, something relating to uh, marketing or business development kind of stuff, maybe you might require to add some kind of revenues to the existing ones so that based on the reviews, that uh, status reports has to be updated for us. So that is how generally the reason why this edit columns and all everything apart from edit filters, which will be appeared here. This is how generally this is all will be opened here. At the same time, if you want to visualize this view, right? So if you want to visualize anything, because visualization is also required, right? If you want to have any visualization, you can connect to Power BI. There is an option, especially in Dynamics, because Dynamics is only used for uh, creating of CRM applications, right? So that is what it was. But sometimes whenever we are working on CRM applications, we might require to have some kind of uh, have some kind of visualization purposes required so what we can do we have an option where this dynamics can be connecting with power bi here if you want we can get a free license where if you want we can add this uh, power bi and all everything